Chinese psychological horror drama, Family Portrait. Xiao Ming is not in good health and has heart problems, so he often takes a break from school. His mother didn't dare to leave him alone at home when he was less than 10 years old, so she took him to work in the factory. I can't remember exactly what day it was, but it must have been a cold night. It was midnight when Xiao Ming and his mother came out of the factory together. Also, it must have been cloudy that day, because the moonlight was completely swallowed up by the black sky. At this time, the city had fallen asleep completely, and the few remaining street lamps that were not broken were dozing drowsily. I don't know if they were too sleepy or too tired, they also walked quietly and quietly along the way. One, two, three. Xiao Ming, who was drowsy, stared at the road in front of him, counting the street lights on the side of the road with his spare eyes to prevent him from falling asleep. The thin and cold light stretched all the way to the front, forming a deep tunnel in the thick night, and I don't know where it leads. I don't know if it's 17th or 18th. What is more in Xiaoming's vision? There is no time to think rationally. And the body has already made the most honest response. The hairs on his body stood up, and his head seemed to have swelled a few times. The feeling of loss of control, powerlessness, and dizziness instantly stirred up the fear in my heart, and I was so scared that I wanted to vomit. Invisibly, it was like a hand, breaking Xiao Ming's head towards a certain point that attracted him just now. His gaze was fixed on the streetlights. It's like a row of dead trees in winter, but the arrangement from large to small has a weirdness that people can't ignore. When you look closely, it's not a tree, it's three things that look like people, and you can't really describe them in terms of people. They were all dressed in gorgeous costumes, with thick black turbans wrapped around their heads. But they looked exactly the same, except that each was half a body different from the next. The most terrifying thing is that each face has no luster, and there is no focus in the eyes, and the dead pupils are all staring at a certain point in the void. They attracted Xiao Ming's gaze like a magnet, making him unable to turn his head. Therefore, he flawlessly glanced up at his mother beside him and saw her natural and calm face as usual. It's as normal as every night shift. Xiao Ming was cautious all the way and didn't dare to say anything. When he returned home, his mother first took off his coat and went to make water to wash his face and feet. After finishing his work, I went to make his bed. The orange-yellow light illuminated the room hot, and Xiaoming found a sense of security in the familiar room. He swallowed, but said cautiously, Well, Mom, did you see anything on the way back? Did you see three people? Mom still turned her back to him, rubbed his pillow and said, Child, it's time to sleep. Let's talk again tomorrow. Mom, did you see that? Xiao Ming was provoked by his mother's neglect. Suddenly, in that instant, the furrow on my mother's face deepened a lot. The back is exaggerated at some point. His eyes were dark and indifferent. A man's voice came out of her throat, your mother didn't see it, but I did. The voice is old and low. However, Xiao Ming was not surprised at all, he knew that it was his father who came. Xiao Ming walked alone on a familiar road that has been going back and forth countless times. The sky was dark, there were few pedestrians, and a few people were riding bicycles. After walking a few steps, I saw the stone bridge again. Under the stone bridge is a dry moat. When he walked here, 
Xiaoming wondered if he wanted to find a bus stop to take the bus. While he was hesitating, he heard someone call out to him. Xiaoming, Xiaoming, it's your turn, the sound turned from big to small. The picture in front of me also gradually disappeared. Soon he found himself at home. Old wooden beds, yellowed futons, overly old-fashioned kettles, and dining tables covered with plastic tablecloths. But the most striking thing is a picture frame nailed diagonally above the bed. Inside is a family photo. The man's expression in the photo is serious and indifferent, the woman's face is helpless, and the child is not very old, but he looks innocent. End of full text. DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, DID, formerly known as Multiple Personality Disorder, MPD, according to the DSM-4-TR which refers to a dramatic dissociative disorder in which two or more different identities or personality states are manifested that alternate with personality in some way to control the patient's behavior. If you guessed that this is a story of multiple personality disorder, then congratulations on moving on to the next question. Who is the main character? Dad, Mom or Xiaoming, or someone else. Subscribe and put notification on to watch more movies. Thanks for watching.